We're Jerry and Diana. During the pandemic, we quit our jobs and bought a tiny 15-foot travel trailer, a 2014 Whitewater Riverside Retro 155. As soon as we brought it home, Jerry found that there were gaps in the seals of the trailer and that there'd been a leak. Before we could even take the trailer out, Jerry spent a couple of weeks sealing the seams, fixing the trim, taping the roof, and doing other repairs. Once we started camping in the trailer, we quickly found out that we did not have enough storage space. Jerry made a bunch of updates and changes to make more storage. Let's look at the before and the after. You attached a bar to the screen door, yeah, so, so it's easier to close. Yeah, because it's a weird angle, because sunken floor, you step up here and you go to close the door, and now you got to bend over to grab the actual door handle. And so this this is a little more natural. With it, yeah, and it was you know. supposed to be you know some universal thing, which of course meant it did not actually fit the door. <laughs> so I had to make little tab brackets with the channel, attach it. But it came out good, sturdy. Down by your legs, you did something. I didn't catch. Oh yeah, bungee cord oh. shoe holders. You, you slide them in there. You can slide a pair of shoes in here and pull them out up off the floor. Not only did you put cabinet door over where there was no cabinet door because that was the microwave, but show them how it opens. Mm. Well, it's got these lovely Those cheese, are my cheese ball uh, log cabin knobs. knobs. They work really well though. And then we made them open. You'll notice most of my food is in open. containers yeah. to prevent animals. Yeah. Most of it. And then this one. You also put struts in, strut in on. I put it once. That one's a little lighter. They've all got the same um, pressure struts. So this one needed two to actually hold tight and shut well and all that. And then here you made this sink cover for the sink and the matching one that goes over the stove so that this is a flat surface when we're not cooking or washing dishes. And then down here, you just changed the knobs and the poles for me. Knobs and the poles. So it would match. Which was a pain in the butt because these were different holes. Oh, like no. They didn't match up. Yeah. But they were really close. So then, you know, it's hard to, yeah, they don't have a jig, so it wants to angle into the old hole. It was, it was a mess. This side, you did all these baskets. This is my fruit basket yeah, at the top, that. and this is bathroom stuff and Jerry's socks he left on the floor. This is like wipes and uh, bug repellent, and that's the trash. And then he did this shelf for me to put my stuff on. And yeah, my stuff all blocks the air conditioner, but we're only going to use the air conditioner for, I would think. Not here, we're not. Not here, but. I mean, a couple hours on a camping trip, and then I can put the stuff back up on, on it because you probably won't run it at night. And I velcroed these down so that I can change my lights and my candles. And he built me this one, which is my um, caboodle caddy. And he made a headboard. It comes out in case of an emergency, but then I have a headboard when I sleep there and lean my pillows against the glass. Yeah, we took the door off the bathroom because it was really giant. Yeah, and see, there was a door was here. Just in the way all the mm -hmm. time. It and was. Then, and then we found out we needed a coat rack, coat hanger. And I thought, well, that was the place to put the coat because we don't have any real walls in here to hang yeah. stuff on. But if I put a, just put a hook over the bathroom door, now you've got 
coats in your way when you try to go to the bathroom. So I made a swing out coat rack. That's your dresser. <laughs> That's my dresser. So I had, I don't even know what the, uh, I don't remember what this brand is. It's, it's from Amazon. Oh, pack, but, pack Gear. I can put a link in the description. Yeah, it's Pack Gear. So I owned this prior to us getting the trailer. And I know we'd use it when we went camping, but I never figured out how to hang it well in like my truck or anything so it worked well. But I got tired of the duffel bag in here, wrestling it. Where do I put it afterwards? Is always yeah, in that's the what way. I was getting rid of my duffel bag. And I bag. thought, oh, I can hang that on the wall and make it swing out so I have access to it. And it actually, it's a funky looking thing, but it works really well. The thermometer. It's the temperature Sorry. of our water in our water, our water tank right now. Yep. And when you turn the heat on, it heats up and... You can, you can turn off the water heater at the preferred temperature for your shower um, and just use the hot water because our, our hot shower head turns completely on and off, mm -hmm. which is great and serves water. But when you're trying to mix the water, it wants to... Um, I think there's a little bit of a pre pressure differential between the hot and the cold when you first turn it on. So you either get a shot of scalding hot water before it remixes and it evens out the temperature, or you get a shot of cold water. I was getting mostly hot. It's getting scalded. Yeah, yeah. So rather than doing a bunch of um, check valves and you know pressure regulator or a new mixing valve and trying to figure out that, because there's a bunch of different solutions, um, the simplest solution I found online was put a thermometer on the tank, six gallon tank, heat it up to approximately where you like your shower water and just turn on the hot water and use it. Yep. And so there's no drama. I didn't have to get into the plumbing or anything. I just had to run the thermometer. Simple solution. And I put up my lights today. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta do that, and I gotta do the last shelf. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Counter extension. Oh, there we go. Counter extension. Yep. What uh, do you use that for, Jerry? It ends up being my nightstand, which <laughs> what wasn't the plan. No, he has a gorgeous nightstand. Yeah, um, well, you know, it's for cooking and all that, but he I sleep there. here, my head's over here, so my phone and my hearing aids and my glasses and a box of tissue right there. It's pretty pretty perfectly placed. What's my plan to use it for is when it's just him and me camping, if I cook something or I'm chopping something, I'm going to set it on that. Hey. And then when he comes to the door, how's it going? He can grab it. Oh, and here. OK, beans are heat heated up. Need any help over there? And the table's set. Understood. This is the last thing Jerry's built since we went on this camping trip. Yeah. And that was this shelf that I asked for. And he would, I don't think he wanted to build it. You were kind of putting it off to last. Is it just because it's complicated? I didn't want to build it because it was actually, it's a very, it's very simple looking, but it's a curved back wall. And I had to try and find the aluminum studs in the outer wall. And I mean, against the, and it's nothing, nothing square, <laughs> right? Nothing square. And so there's actually a little, little bit of a twist in that big board because it's trying to keep everything flush. But this isn't square, that's not square, <laughs> and it's got an angles. And anyway, it came out really good. Yeah, I thought it would be room for his yeah. backpack, but it's actually enough room for me to throw a couple more bags up there and all of the manuals for everything inside the trailer. I yeah. threw that up there too, and now it has a home. Yeah, I'm so. really happy how it came out. It came out better than I thought it was going to.
Here's a video of our last trip to Concanelli, and here is a video that YouTube picked out just for you.